What's up guys, it's Salvaje from the Salvaje Cartel and with the release of House of Wolves on May 19th and uh, the President of Elders being announced in this DLC instead of a new raid uh, I decided I was going to come up with some things that I want to see on the Prison of Elders and uh, probably also some things that I want to see uh, in the future of the Prison of Elders uh, sort of a uh, game mode so if you guys did not know, Prison of Elders, it's uh, going to be PvE related. Now, obviously you guys are seeing some PvP gameplay in the background, or probably me getting obliterated. Uh, but yeah, I didn't have any PvE gameplay, guys, so I'm sorry about that. Anyways, as always, if you guys have any ideas for Prison of Elders, anything you guys want to suggest, let me know in the comments, uh, like the video, if you like any of my ideas, all that good stuff. Anyways, let's get started. Now, me personally, in Call of Duty, I really don't like zombies, you know, I sort of don't find it fun, I feel like I could be playing multiplayer owning noobs, but in Destiny, it's completely different. I actually don't like PvP in Destiny because I sort of feel uh, that Destiny, I enjoy it more in a PvE environment, and for, for example, uh, me just playing with my friends, doing strikes, uh, doing raids, all that good stuff, I enjoy it, but sometimes I want more, and sometimes I don't want it to end. So that's why obviously the first thing in my Prison of Elders wish list, it's Endless Mode. Yes, pretty much a game mode where the enemies just keep on coming wave after wave. Now, this isn't some sort of survival thing from Call of Duty. This isn't some sort of zombies thing from Call of Duty. No, uh, I actually don't want that. Like I said, I don't like zombies. But uh, I sort of want uh, something like, uh, I don't know, let's say that it's kind of like a strike. So you have to like defeat... Uh, you know a couple of waves of enemies and then after that you have to move on to another part of the map So let's say that you're playing on Venus. You're on the spawn area on Venus You have to kill uh, you know a couple of enemies and then you have to move on to the Academy of Venus and take out some enemies there And then when you're in the thousand steps uh, Part of Venus then you have to like fight a boss maybe a gate lord and then after the gate lord You have to report to the vault of glass door because there are some guardians that are going to do vault of glass And you need to destroy some enemies for them this is what I mean, you know, uh, kind of interactive, endless game mode, you know, not uh, being stuck in one area where enemies just keep on coming over and over again, but actually uh, sort of like a more uh, kind of, um, I don't know how to put it into words exactly, but kind of like a game mode where you're always moving all the time and always taking out enemies. I don't know, I just want it to be something that's uh, a lot of fun with friends and, you know, something, let's say for example, Oh, let's say that I just want to play Destiny for the, you know, for the next two hours, but I don't want to do strikes all over and over again. I just want to do Prison of Elders mode in, I don't know, in the Reef. Let's say it's in the Reef. I mean, that's what I know. Uh, that's what I think it's going to be. Uh, yeah, I just want to go to the Reef, and I just want to do Endless mode. I want to, like, travel all around the Reef. I want to kill bosses, all that stuff. I would find that a lot of fun. And as you all know, the Archon Priest came from the Prison of Elders. So maybe, I don't know, we could be killing Archon Priests all over the place. I don't know. Uh, that would sound, I mean, that sounds pretty interesting to me. Another thing I would like to see in the Prison of Elders, it's uh, sort of like a customizable mode. Uh, for example, let's say that I want to play, let's say that Prison of Elders is, is an endless mode, right? Uh, but yeah, let's say that I want to play this endless mode with Arc Burn and uh, Angry Light Switch. And uh, sure, let's add a uh, Void Burn as well, right? Let's say I want to play it uh, with those uh, mods. Uh, I would like to do that, you know, mainly because it would add a, a more fun factor and more replayability to the game mode other than, you know, just being bored of doing the same thing, uh, you know, over and over and over again. You know, I would also like uh, to be able to sort of customize how grenades and melee regenerate in the Prison of Elders game mode. For example, let's say that we have a game mode that you have like an infinite super, you know, you can keep on summoning your super over and over again, but you can use primary, secondaries, or heavy ammo. Uh, that's actually, it's, you know, pretty, pretty cool. The only way that you'll be uh, sort of uh, surviving, I guess, it's um, if you have the grenades uh, and your melee, you know, kind of regenerating uh, kind of quickly and uh, obviously your super. Let's also say, you know, just for, just for fun, let's say that you need a hunter, a warlock, and a titan for this game mode, right? And then you pretty much have all three. So what are you going to be? Are you going to be a striker titan or are you going to be a shield titan? You're going to be a blade dancer or are you going to be a golden gun guy? while the Warlock is going to be doing Void Walker or Radiance, you know, there's a lot of possibilities to this uh, sort of a uh, customizable Prison of Elders, and, uh, you know, well, if they don't want us to just 
you know, do this customization because uh, they sort of think people are going to take advantage, then they can turn off rewards for this uh, sort of Prison of Elders game mode. And uh, yeah, another thing uh, I would like to see it's good rewards from Prison of Elders. You know, I don't want to get, I don't want to play that game mode for, I don't know, maybe three rounds and, you know, then I get a blue engram or a green weapon. Uh, I really, you know, wouldn't like that. I sort of feel like, um, you know, if Prison of Elders doesn't really become what I want it to be, it's just going to be, you know, like Vanguard Rock. I used to play the hell out of it, but now I'm kind of just bored on it. Why? Because I know it's the same thing over and over again. Uh, the enemies aren't getting any tougher. And yeah, that's why I want an endless mode in Prison of Elders. Alright, another thing that I kind of want in the Prison of Elders, it's sort of like a customize. I know I said customizable uh, game mode already where we can switch the mods and all that stuff, but I sort of want to create a, kind of like my own arena. So for example, let's say that I choose where the enemies spawn and uh, you know what type of enemies spawn there. Uh, sort of uh, create your own game mode for Prison of Elders where you know we can share it and uh, we can download other game modes. For example, this uh, Crucible map right here. Let's say that uh, we uh, go into Prison of Elders, we put the Crucible map right there, and we sort of create like a kind of like a strike within uh, this map. You know, that would be pretty cool. It would be pretty unique. Uh, it would be a lot of fun. Anyways, these are my ideas, guys. Uh, make sure to like the video if you like them. Make sure to share your ideas in the comments below. I would really appreciate that. And uh, yeah, make sure to subscribe to the Salahi Cartel as I do upload uh, daily Destiny content. Peace.